everybody! So today I'm actually super excited because I'm going to give you guys my very first costume makeup tutorial. And this is also a collaboration with Abby E Beauty here on YouTube and this is going to be a collaboration where we both show you two different types of costume makeup tutorials. So on my channel you will be getting the creepy one so I'm going to show you how you can become a zombie and on her channel you will be getting a cute one and she will be showing you how you can make yourself look like a cat which is absolutely adorable. So head on over to her channel and check her out her video if you're interested. I will leave both the link to her video and channel down below. That was it for my introduction. So without any further ado, let's get started. To make a nice base for the makeup to stick on, you're first going to choose a primer and you're just going to apply this to your entire face. Then you're going to choose a foundation that is either one or two shades lighter than your natural skin tone and you're going to apply this all over your face and make sure to blend it in really well afterwards because we want this to look as natural as possible. And also don't forget to apply the foundation to your lips as well because this will look like you have no blood circulation in your face whatsoever. <laughs> Next up we're going to start to contour our faces, so I'm going to apply it underneath my cheekbone and for this I'm choosing a very kind of light beigey brown colour, wow that was a complicated explanation but yeah, you're just going to apply this underneath your cheekbones and also make a line down towards your chin because this will make your cheeks look really really hollow. And of course we're going to make this super realistic so you're going to take a clean powder brush and just blend in the makeup afterwards. I'm also going to kind of color in the section we just contoured because this will make the hallowed cheeks even more prominent. And of course the next thing I'm going to do is just do the exact same thing on the other side. So I'm going to contour my cheekbones and also down towards my chin. And then I'm going to color it in lightly and also do not forget to blend. <laughs> Continuing with the contouring, I'm just going to make my chin look kind of slim and bony, so I'm going to contour that. And then I'm going to contour my forehead by following the nat natural kind of V-shaped shadow I have on my forehead. And again, the golden rule is to blend, so don't forget to do that either. The next thing I'm going to do is draw a line from my eyebrow and down towards the tip of my nose and this will make my nose kind of look slimmer and smaller as well and it will make it look a lot more bony than what it is at the moment. <laughs> Then we're going to make the sockets of our eyes look a lot more hollow, so we're going to draw a dark circle underneath our eyes. So just do this with the same brown colour and kind of draw the natural shading you have underneath your eye. Then I'm going to draw a line from the sides of my nose and down towards the end of my mouth. And this will just make sure this part of my face also look kind of bony. The next thing you would want to do is take a super dark matte purple color and apply this in the inner corners of your eyes to kind of deepen up the dark circles. You're also going to take that same purple color and apply this underneath your cheekbones and on other places of your face where you naturally would have shadows. I'm also going to draw a line from the corners of my mouth and down towards the end of my chin just to kind of make this place look a lot bonier as well. Then I'm going to take a fluffy eyeshadow brush and a black eyeshadow and I'm just going to dust random places on my face just to kind of look like I am a bit more dirty because if you have ever seen pictures of a zombie they are not clean whatsoever. <laughs> To deepen up the sockets of my eyes even more, I'm going to take a dark brown matte eyeshadow and apply this underneath my eye and also in my crease. I'm also going to take that dark brown eyeshadow and darken up my dark circles because this will make the entire area look a lot more flatter and more bonier. So just do whatever you can to make your face look a lot more bony. Then you're going to take a white eyeshadow and feel free to use a shimmery one and you're just going to highlight the high points of your face, so the bridge of your nose, the forehead, the chin and the top of your cheekbones. And this will just make your skin look kind of decaying and gross and shiny looking. 
The next thing you would need is some Kleenex and you're just going to take one tissue and separate the two slices of paper from each other. Wow, that was complicated. And you're going to need some liquid latex and a container to put the latex in and just, just going to kind of rip out the shreds of the tissue paper and apply it to your face and stick it down with some liquid latex. You're just going to build on this until you feel happy with how your wound is going to be looking like. After you're done with sticking down the tissue paper, you're just going to let the liquid latex dry completely so it will not be sticky to the touch anymore when you touch it. The next thing you will need is a scissor and be careful with this guy, this could be dangerous so don't cut yourself. And you're just going to very carefully open up the patch and kind of scissor up and open up the patch near your mouth because this will look like someone has sliced it open. Then you're going to take your foundation again and just apply this on top of the patches. And also I'm going to take my red lipstick and just dot this all over kind of the middle section of the wound. Then you're going to take the very first color you use to contour your face and you're just going to apply this to the edges of the wound because this will make the entire thing just blend into your skin and look super natural. Then you're going to take a black eyeshadow and you're just going to create some dimension to the wound by dotting this all over the red lipstick. And of course you're going to repeat this to the mouth wound. So apply a brown eyeshadow along the edges to kind of blend it naturally into your skin. Then dot all over it with some red lipstick to create a kind of meaty effect. And also a, a bit of black eyeshadow to kind of deepen up the look. And for the wound that kind of elongates your mouth, you're going to apply a black eyeshadow in the entire inside. And you're going to use the leftover product and just apply this to the inside of your mouth. Then you're going to take your fake blood and apply this to your wound and this is what will really make it look natural and super gross. And make sure to get a lot of blood inside of that wound on the cheek because this will really make it look like it's gushing out of blood. And also do the same thing on the wound on your forehead. Zombies eat human flesh so I'm going to dot some of that blood on my lips as well and then I'm just going to randomly place some blood all over my face so it looks like I have just attacked someone. So that was actually the very last step guys and here you have the finished makeup look. If you decide to recreate this makeup for yourself please post a picture on Instagram or Twitter so I can take a look at it and also don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and subscribe if you aren't already and I will see you guys next week. Bye!